a longtime Hennepin County Commissioner who has represented the Northwest suburbs for nearly 30 years, announced this week that he is not seeking re-election. Mike Opat's term expires at the end of the year. Reporter Delane Cleveland sat down with him today and he joins us now with more. Delane? Shannon, Mike Opat was the driving force behind the construction of Target Field, and he was instrumental in the renovation of the World War I monument of Victory Memorial Drive in Robbinsdale, among other accomplishments. Now, after 27 years of serving Hennepin County, he says it's time to move on. It wasn't an easy decision. This is, this is a great job, and it, it, it provides all kinds of different opportunities and, and, and great variety. Um, but there's a time when when the, and then I think the time is now it's uh, I've done most anything that can be done up here and um, at some point it's time to hand it off and I'd rather uh, I'd rather that be on my terms. OPAT has served on the county board since 1993. The Robbinsdale residents' long list of accomplishments include creating the Hennepin County Youth Sports Grants, which account for more than $25 million in investments across the county. He also helped build new libraries in Brooklyn Center and Brooklyn Park. However, OPAT is probably best known for spearheading the financing, development, and construction of Target Field. Yet he wouldn't list that as his greatest achievement. I mean, Target Field is certainly a big thing. The light rail is certainly a big thing. But in terms of preventing human misery, which is largely what uh, what the county job is here in Minnesota, and ensuring human potential, um, helping kids not have kids before they're ready, uh, is is the biggest thing we've done. And we're outperforming the state and the nation in that. I'm and I'm really proud of that. Oh, Pat says he's not sure what he plans to do next, but he doesn't want to retire and he has no plans to run for another office. Oh, Pat is the third Hennepin County Commissioner to announce their leaving at the end of the year, joining Commissioners Jan Callison and Jeff Johnson. Shannon. Thank you, Delane. The news of OPAT retiring has drawn reaction from leaders throughout Hennepin County. The president and CEO of the Minnesota Twins, Dave St. Peter, posted on Twitter that OPAT filled a decade-long leadership void on the Twins stadium issue. St. Peter wrote, it's simple, no Mike OPAT, no target field. Brooklyn Park Mayor Jeff Lundy also reacted to the news, tweeting out, job well done and appreciated. OPAT listed the beginnings of the Botno light rail project as one of his accomplishments. If it happens, the light rail would go from downtown Minneapolis through OPAT's district that includes Robbinsdale and Crystal before ending in Brooklyn Park. The project remains hung up as BNSF Railway does not want to allow passenger rail running next to freight trains on its property. So far, a couple of local candidates have announced intentions to run for OPATH's District 1 seat. They include New Hope resident Devonna Pittman, a longtime Hennepin County employee, and Brooklyn Center City Council member April Graves. The filing period starts May 19th. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.